bursting at the seams. Frozen pipes are one of winter's top hazards for homeowners. But everything was wet. Everything. My basement, my den, my bathroom. The whole line, all three floors. We'll show you how to protect your pipes and your home. Junior high food critic will introduce you to a 12-year-old boy who's taking the restaurant world by storm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So your mom gets a 25? My mom gets a 25. <laughs> Not just for being my mom. <laughs> Plus, Jennifer Connelly makes the earth stand still. And country stars Vince Gill and Amy Grant live in our studio. I remember how it used to be well, I'm still dreaming. Early this Tuesday morning, December 9th, 2008. Welcome back to The Early Show. I'm Julie Chen along with Harry Smith and Maggie Rodriguez. And this morning we have a very special guest with us. This is David Fishman. He's 12 years old and he's a food critic. And believe me, <laughs> when chefs here in New York City find out that he's coming to their restaurant, they work extra hard, as I learned when I made the rounds with him uh, earlier this month. We're blowing his cover, though. Food cup critic yeah. is supposed to, you know, be know. in disguise and everything. I know. Right? But, you know, they know. These chefs know, and they even put pictures up of the food critics for all the waiters and all the servers and to know. And they have to get him some Groucho glasses. Plus, perfect holiday gift ideas for your pets. Take a look at that. Mm, but first, Russ is at the news desk. Good morning, Russ. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Welcome back to The Early Show. Most 12-year-olds would live off of Chicken McNuggets and French fries if it were up to them. But you're about to meet a 12-year-old who is a true culinary critic. David Fishman looks like any 12-year-old kid taking swim class after school. But it's what he does after swimming that separates him from the rest of the class. This is something else. It really is. David is an aspiring food critic. He's already reviewed his local neighborhood haunts like Salumeria Rossi, where he awarded the decor a 23 out of 25. And the food, an impressive 24 out of 25. And his favorite takeout spot, the hummus place? The food earned them a very respectable 23 out of 25. We invited David out to dinner to see him in action. Oh my God, they're heavenly. First stop, one of David's favorites, Doc's Oyster Bar and Grill. When I came in, I sat down. I wrote, decor was relaxing. With the first stages of the review in motion, the most important part continued, the food soup. It's kind of like peppery and a little spice on the edge of it. Sushi. See if I can handle it. Lobster. This is really good. It's right up there. And scallops. My mom makes scallops like these, except I like them better. My mom gets a 25, not just for being my mom. <laughs> but what would Docs get overall? The food I would give probably a 24 to 25. That's one of my tops. The decor, I'm going to have to give a 22 out of 25. I thought the decor was beautiful. The service, I would give 25. You can't beat this. And we still have another restaurant. We do. We do. I'm full, though. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to see how David would do at a restaurant he's never been to. We chose one of New York's top restaurants, David Burke and Donatella. Wow. It's, it's definitely pretty fancy. I mean, it tops what I've been to. Cheers. David might not have been expecting David Burke, but David Burke was expecting him. So you know when restaurants have food critics in? Yeah. Sometimes they'll put a picture of them in the work area so the workers know what they look like and stuff. Okay. Turn around. Oh my God. Read it. David Fishman, food critic, age 12. Dining companions often comes alone. This makes it official, a junior food critic. And the food critic got right to work.
David decided to give his review in person to David Burke himself. I'm going to give. Don't I'm going to give. I'm, oh yes, you are. I'm going to give your restaurant for food a 25. You put thought, care into this. You did a great job. Service. I'm going to give you guys a 24. My waiter was absolutely. He explained every dish. Your decor. I'm going to give you a 25. It does it here. It doesn't get better. This is it. If, you, if people don't like this, they're not going to like anything. If they don't like this, there's something wrong. With it. If they don't like it, they should go to therapy. <laughs> By the way, we were not toasting with champagne. That was uh, just a fruity drink. Coming up in a moment, you can see David in our kitchen, and that's contributing editor of Bon Appetit magazine, Dede Wilson. She's going to make some desserts, and David is going to try them and review them right here on The Early Show. But first, let's go over to Julie. All right, thanks a lot, Maggie. Amy, so a gift to pets and people. Go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com. And now here's Maggie. Thank you, Jules. Pastry chefs are having fun with peanut butter. You saw the peanut butter puppy cupcakes, but in our series this morning at the market, Bon Appetit magazine, which named peanut butter their favorite dessert trend for, for 2009, is here to show us some tempting recipes. Day Day Wilson, contributing editor at Bon Appetit. Good morning. Good morning. You can smell the peanuts. So exciting. Isn't this great? It's Why do you think peanut butter's become so popular? It's in everyone's cupboard. It's a comfort food. Sometimes when the economy is a little soft, people go to comfort foods. That's and true. what's so great is that it's there, it's in the cupboard, you can use it, it's not going to to break your budget and we can do homey dishes and also some spectacular ones for your holiday table when you think about peanut butter you think about peanut butter and jelly no I think about peanut butter and chocolate well I think that's <laughs> most people yeah, probably think right. about peanut right. butter and jelly and, and that's, that's what our we're doing. first dessert exactly shortbread classically shortbread is butter and sugar and flour we added some peanut butter to it and you to see, the dough to the dough and so the dough is in a springform pan which is going to make it easy to uh, unmold later and we just pat it in once it's all patted in we have a layer of jam and this is where the jelly comes in you can choose your flavor I did mm. blackberry because it's I think it's a little more upscale than grape but it gives you that that great berry flavor and then we froze half the dough oh and this is how we get this texture on top of the shortbread what a we great grate idea. It, which is great it gives a texture and to it end. here it is voila, voila it's Beautiful. unmolded so this is the more homey kind of confection you that mentioned we have. the inexpensive jelly can you use inexpensive peanut butter or do you need fancy schmancy peanut butter? You know, none of it is going to break the bank. We've used all natural peanut butters in all of our recipes. Look at the label. You want peanuts and salt. That's it. Okay. So you can use the Jif and the Jiffy. And the I didn't say that. that. Okay. I will because I like them. <laughs> no, I know. We were talking about that. For that sandwich, for that like yeah. old, that old timey flavor. This is a uh, cheesecake brownie. Ooh. So we've started with this, uh, the uh, brownie layer. We've got a peanut butter cheesecake here and then we have some milk. Melted chocolate. Yummy. That we're going to add to some of the reserved. If you want to scrape okay, sure. this cheesecake into here while I'm combining and this has the cream chocolate. cheese, sugar, cream cheese, sugar eggs. a little vanilla, eggs, exactly. Classic uh, cheesecake batter with the Just addition add of peanut the peanut butter. butter. That's a great idea. Then you can I, add peanut butter to anything. I reserve some of it and put the chocolate in here. That's good. So once this is like spread out, ultra quick here. Yep. We dollop. The kids, speaking of kids, yeah. David, David Fishman, we have you one in the house? who is salivating. Over here. Our 12 year old food critic is here. Hey, David, you want to try this? Oh, I'd love to. There's yeah, the wait, finished wait, product. Yeah, try the brownies while I'm swirling and tell us what you think. Mm. This is amazing. It really shows what peanut butter can do. Exactly. exactly. Out of, you know, your scale goes to 25. What do you give it? Be honest, Data can take All it. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm going to I'm going to give this let's see I think it's going to be a 23 all right. I like all right. it. All right. All you know right. what? Like you told me you're a crunchy man, right? So when I, I get it up to a 25 if I use the crunchy. Okay. So he good. gives me that. Whole there chips you go. in <laughs> Day -day. David, thank you so much. We're going to put these recipes onto our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com. Peanut butter, creamy, crunchy, your choice. Now here's Harry. All right. Thanks, guys. Up next, Super